The Battle of Dominguez Rancho or the Battle of the Old Woman's Gun was a military engagement of the Mexican-American War. The battle took place within Manuel Dominguez's 75,000-acre rancho San Pedro. Background After receiving word of the Siege of Los Angeles, Commodore Robert F. Stockton sent U.S. Navy Captain William Mervina and the Savannah on October 4 to San Pedro to assist Captain Archibald H. Gillespie. Arriving on October 6, Mervina set out on October 7 with sailors, marines and bear flaggers to recapture the town. Battle Mervine's march was poorly planned with little knowledge of the enemy. His troops were armed with an assortment of muskets, cutlasses and pikes. They brought no horses, wagons or cannons. When the Americans had occupied Los Angeles in August, a residence had hidden some weapons by burying them. This old brass four-pounder, used ceremonially, had been buried in the Garden of Innocencia Reyes. It was dug up and mounted on a horse-drawn limber. Mervina and his troops set out on October 7 and reached Dominguez Rancho, where they camped for the night. Within view of an advanced detachment of Flores troops, there was more or less firing during the night, with no other effect than that of keeping Mervine's party on the alert. Setting off at daylight, the Americans advanced just to the north of Dominguez Rancho. Senora Reyes' four-pounder was placed on the narrow trail that the Americans needed to use. Ropes were lashed to the limber to pull the gun into the brush for reloading. The California horsemen deployed at a safe distance from the trail on the enemy's flanks. The simple tactics proved effective. When the Americans came within 400 yards, the cannon was fired and quickly pulled back into the brush, followed by musket fire from the horsemen. Mervine's forces were helpless on foot against an enemy they could neither see nor count. Realizing they could not reach Los Angeles, Mervina had little choice except to retreat. The battle lasted less than an hour. Five hours later Mervine's forces were back on their ship in San Pedro Bay. Aftermath Four of the seriously wounded Americans died and were buried on a little island in San Pedro Bay called Isla de los Muertos. Mervine's troops reboarded the Savannah, and after a few days, the warship sailed north toward Monterey.